Eliza, never did I think I could find anyone who made me feel so loved, so full from laughter, and so overflowed with joy. The fact that we are here today and that you still want to marry me shows me how great your love is and that none of our adventures, no matter how badly they turned out, could change that. Eliza, I really want to thank you for loving my son. This is just the absolute truth. You have brought the best out of my son. And I don't know of any other person that could have done it except you. The beauty and the grace Nothing we would change at all My prayer for you is that God will go before you and he'll go behind you and he'll go on the side of you. When times arise, when your relationship, when you are hard pressed and your back's up against the wall, I just want you to put God first. The whisper of the wind Calling us to something more Lizy, I don't think I can wrap up in one speech everything you mean to me. Who knew I would be blessed with not only a big sister, but a best friend. What if we set out upon the waters, sail till we lose sight of shore? You taught me about love and loss and laughter. So, so, so much laughter. You are the most incredible mum, and Oliver and you, Bub, are the luckiest kids I know. You are strong and independent and kind. Most of all, you taught me patience and that someone out there will love you unconditionally. You just have to wait. The light and the wilderness We were made for all of this You alone my confidence Ready for it all this is who we are, this is where it starts. So Lockie and Eliza, you have today become your own family unit. And it's our parents' responsibility to let go, to allow you to uncleave. And I want to let you know, Lachlan, that today that you are released from our family unit so that you can become your own. And in saying that, we also welcome you into our greater family unit. The rush of the unknown Awakening these untamed hearts Reaching out beyond our hesitations No It does not envy, it does not boast, it isn't proud, it is not rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not always delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth, it always protects, 
always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. Love never fails. I really pray that today, as you both give your lives to each other, that you would look at those deeper things in your heart, in your character, and that your marriage will be built on these wonderful fruits of the Holy Spirit in your life. Hey Ollie, I sort of came into your life without your permission. And so as I marry your mum today, I also wanted to make this promise to you that I will do my best to protect you and to love you as my own. I promise to always look after you and to support you in all that you do, because I love you very much. Thank you. Eliza, will you have this man to be your wedded husband, to live together in the holy state of matrimony? Will you love him, comfort him, honour and keep him? In sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep yourself wholly unto him, as so long as you both shall live. If so, you'll say, I will. I will this ring I give you in token and pledge in token and pledge of our constant faith of our constant faith and abiding love and abiding love this ring I give you in token and pledge in token and pledge of our constant faith of our constant faith and abiding love and abiding love I pronounce that they are now husband and wife together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and those whom God joined together let no one Separate. Amen. Somewhere in the mix, you prove that you were the one for Lizzy. You make her smile and laugh and sparkle from the inside out. I love you both so much and I can't wait to watch you bring another baby into this world. Thank you for being you. Thank you for loving me unconditionally and thank you for being so bloody awesome. Our children leave, they grow up, they form their relationships and they form their own lives. And I am extremely proud of you that you have actually grown into a wonderful woman. You've found a husband that you actually adore and he appears to adore you too. It's just so nice to see. And you're making positive choices for yourself. And regardless of where you go, what happens and how it happens, everybody here is going to support you because it's your turn and I'm so proud of you. Lucky, you now bear the name of your family on your back. You carry them, serve them, as Christ serves his beloved. You march into death, soldier. As God's chosen husband, as dad, it is to lead, mainly by example. I'm sure you've already come to realize that having a family is not as easy as it looks from the outside. Eliza, You've chosen a precious, godly man. And I could honestly go on and on about him. The way he loves Ollie and honors both your parents and his parents and his character as a man. But I'm sure you'll learn that as time goes on. I truly wish the best for you and your marriage. I bless you both in Jesus' name. And I raise this glass in honor of your covenant with each other and with God. It was a good thing today that Lockie said what he said to Oliver. One of the things that has impressed Lizzie and I is that um, Lockie has made that choice. So that would be my hope for their future, that that part will actually go fairly smoothly.
Louis, you are phenomenal at keeping us on track and steering us in the right course. You keep my crazy, impulsive self completely balanced and guided in this life. You complete me in every way. Reaching out beyond our hesitations, knowing how we've come so far. And I think that I met you a year too early when we dated the first time. I wasn't ready and in many ways I wasn't deserving of you. But when we started dating again in April, I said to my parents, this is it, this is the girl I want to marry. And their response was, that's great son, but slow it down. But when you know you found the one you want to spend the rest of your life with, then why do you want to wait? But it hasn't been an easy path. The shock of our baby was huge and it rocked our ship for a couple of weeks, but I knew that we could get through it. But things have definitely not been easy for you and for me, but my love for you has remained unchanged. In fact, it's ever growing. Eliza, I can't wait to see what the future holds for us, whatever it is. I just know that I will always love you and you will always be my first love in this life. And I pray that God will bless us as we start our future together. Today is the start of many happy years to come. The light.